So after about eight hours of hunting today, after a pretty emotional day, finally around 3.50 we completed what's probably the first actualistic experiment in terms of using an atlatl with a stone tip to hunt a bison in the last uh, 12 millennia probably. We've taken down this animal here, which is about 1,300 pounds, and it was done with two darts, one on either side, and a wooden foreshaft was used, tipped with a Dalton point. Um, and yeah, each foreshaft uh, yielded over a foot of penetration on either side, which was pretty amazing. And one of the really significant things about this hunt was that we're currently working on a, an archaeological site in the Wasissa River of North Florida um, that is a bison anticus kill site. And so a bison anticus is an extinct bison that went, um, that went extinct at the end of the last ice age, about 12,700 years ago. And that site's really unique because there's actually a church point fragment embedded in the skull of the animal. And so, but that's really all we have from that site. So this is a really useful actualistic experiment and that we can directly compare the experimental work that's being done here right now um, with that archeological site. You know, the soft tissue doesn't leave a huge one, but so, so it's right. coarse hair in there. And we're not even really using this on the hair yeah. because we use the flakes for incisions and the bifaces. But it collects this membrane as you cut, and then you feel that it doesn't cut as easy. And then you can just clean this out wow. and get oh, rid of all yeah, that. Okay. And then it's right back to the way it was. Wow, okay. And we don't need to resharpen any of this on this soft tissue. It's when you get around bone and you damage it. So we may not need to even resharpen this at all. That's amazing. So we essentially have two items that were used in the processing of this bison. We have the bifacial points and knives, and we have the flakes themselves, which were used to make the initial incisions and to cut several of the, uh, the more tougher aspects of the skin. And what the hunters told me was that these flakes, which are razor sharp when they're first produced, give the best edge for making the initial incision, but the actual, the coarse hair of the bison and the toughness of the hide depleted the edge rather rapidly. And so once enough of the skin was peeled back, uh, the hunters vastly preferred the bifacial knives as a way of cutting back the skin. We're gonna take all these back to the lab at Texas A&M University, and we're gonna use a, a very high-powered microscope to examine the edges of these artifacts. And through that, we'll be able to see the polish or the uh, micro chipping that occurred on the edges of these points while we are processing this bison. And then we can get a better understanding of what the signature is of big game processing on the artifacts themselves. So where does it exit the body here? Right up here. It, it, it is this gap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang. That exit was huge. Huge. 